Yeah, I just ride, you feel my pain. Getting money and money, it's coming to me. Better get it, I'm running, it's coming like rain. Now my shorty won't answer me back, but I heard that she mad that I'm still on the game. Had a prayer to forget all my enemies, so if you still let me, tell me your name. You know what, back in the kitchen again. If she mad, then I can't get a free. Got a club of booze in Atlanta, and they was just touching you off your stand. She said, go, she said, what is your stand? Had to tell her she Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'll be showing you guys a very good method to make money in Project Slayers. Yeah, Project Slayers. So, um, this requires two different things. So, my method is doing the Betty quest. That's the first quest. It's a quest, she gives 500 cash per quest. That's like a very good amount. Uh, where do we have to go? It's right next to Cure Baiting. I don't think you can teleport to her though. Yeah, so we're just gonna go to Carabang Village. Once we teleport here, we're gonna wanna go straight into, you see like a ramp. So like this point, you should to like a ramp already. It's gonna be like a ramp up here. So basically, this Betty Quest it has a long cooldown, so like maybe at least like two minutes or something like that. So pretty much, you can just do this quest. Then just uh, this will be the second part. So I'll tell you all about that after we do the Betty Quest. So first, we wanna get this quest. Yeah, just skip this. There's three locations for the diamond. I'll show you guys each location. Uh, one location is down here. It's gonna be up up this whole wall right here. So you're gonna wanna look pretty carefully because the diamond is pretty small. It's kinda easy to miss it, but not too easy. Uh, one spawns over here too and behind that house over there. Uh, let's see if it's over here. Yep, it's right here. And uh, the other one, I'll show where that spawns. Yeah. So, after you guys do the Betty quest, there's going to be a lone cooldown. And this is why you should uh, get a fishing pole. I mean, you could, like, do the quest and go do bosses. But if you're trying to earn money to, like, maybe upgrade breathing. Or even get prepared for the updates. Because, you know, there might be a lot of new stuff in the future. So... I will do Betty Quest and then do the fishing pole because uh, you can't do another quest basically because you have like a cooldown for all quests basically. So you can't just go do more quests. You could fight bosses, but the best way to make money while you're waiting on cooldown for Betty is just go fishing. I made so much money off fishing, it, it's just crazy. I, it's a big investment. It costs 2500 for a fishing pole, but trust me, you'll make that right back. There's a whole fish that costs 300 and I had like 12 of them, I think. So, I made bag off that. So, yeah, you come here, you buy this, it costs 2500 win. Uh, you can sell the fishes to this guy. I don't have any fishes right now, so that's why. And also, if you guys are questioning, well, where is it, uh, where do you even fish at? Because, you know, I'm kind of new to fishing. I didn't know there was fishing in the game until my friend told me about it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go over here. I'll show you guys where fishing, like where you can fish. It's right in front of the Betty Quest. So you really don't have to go far away from the Betty Quest. You will still be able to go up and down. You could time the cooldown. So basically, you could just start like a, a timer if you're really going to be that dedicated to running money. Cause she gives 500 and if you get like that one puffer fish or whatever it is that's like 300 cash easy now this is how fishing works basically there's going to be a circle that's going to pop up down here and it's going to be kind of like meditating it's going to be very easy so you just do this my method is click as soon as the bar reaches like the edge of the blue circle or if you want to say rectangle, I don't know. Yeah, we got, there's different, there's three varieties of fish. They have clownfish, 
and two other ones. I don't, I don't even know the other names. But yeah, you can just keep doing this, and then right after that, you just run up that ramp, go to Betty, get the 500 plus. So it's very OP to grind money, and very easy. I'll prefer to do this at maybe end game, or at least say if you're trying to get, you know, max breath. Max breath isn't too hard to get if you do this. Like I did this, and I easily got max breath. So, after you maybe, you know, get a few fishes and all that, the Betty Quest should be accessible now. So, let's go check that out real quick. If yeah, we still can't do it. So, you can catch, like, at least 10 fishes before you can do Betty again. Do you know how much 10 fishes even sell for? Bro, if you get 10 fishes, that's gonna sell for, like, 900 plus. Like, it's, it's very OP. So you be pretty much making like a thousand four hundred cash, like every ten minutes maybe. If the, I don't even know how long this quest even takes, I just know it takes a while. I didn't time it or anything, but yeah, it, it just takes a good amount of time. So I would just time it. So then, um, you know, that's if you're very dedicated to grinding. Though. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably already knew about this. Um, you know, almost everyone knew that there was fishing in the game and the Betty Quest. So a lot of you all probably already did this method, even before me. But you know, I just want to put it out there for the people that don't know. But anyways, bye guys and thanks for watching. Make sure to join the Discord. And yeah, bye guys.